What's going on, gang? Just a quick video here. Wheels and tires are on. Nice having a nice set of tires on here. Still up on jack stands. This one actually touches the leaf spring a little bit. Um, probably needs a little spacer in it. I think when this 9 inch rear end was cut, it was probably cut off uh, probably a little bit. Half inch here or there. That was uh, maybe one side shorter than the other. Um, I was originally thinking that um, the rear end wasn't in the right spot. Maybe it needed to move, be moved over a little bit. But you can see, you can see my gap here on this fender, and then you see the gap here on this fender. Huh? Well, I can't have show you a gap. I didn't put the wheel back on. So, anyhow, this gap on this side is a little bit. A little bit bigger and I was thinking that since that leaf springs on that side over there touched that I needed to move the rear end that way but since it's already further recessed in um, might just take the adjustment up in some spacers so but a good thing when I had a 245 45 tire on the, <coughs> on the front when I turned the this inside portion of the tire hit this flange here on the frame rail. Now with the 225 tire on there, it doesn't hit, so that's good. Bled the brakes today. Solid pedal, pedal comes up, pedal stays up. So that's really nice. Went to fire it up again, need to put some gas in it. But that's about it guys. Run the other wire for the for the temperature sender. Run that wire but tape this stuff up here pretty soon. I still need to run the headlight and the turn signals and all the lighting lighting stuff up front, but other than that, wiring that I'm dealing with right now is, is done. I guess still gotta do some wiring on the dash for the gauges. But um it's coming. School started back up so I don't have to worry about my kids during the day. Finding them something to do while I work in the garage. Maybe this is my boy doesn't have the interest or something, I don't know. Anyhow, take it easy guys.